Welcome back to the Sims 4 Dream Home Decorator. It's been a few weeks since we last played this. Things have changed. We've done a lot of cottage living. I accidentally shaved my beard too short, but don't worry, we're back. <laughs> we're back with Hazel and uh, we're gonna keep playing. And soon she will finally be able to meet up with Chaz from the Cottage Living series. Oh, actually, so first of all, because uh, we, the game is just updated. We've got the brand new game update with the pawn tool and all that. Uh, I don't have my mods or CC enabled, so I've actually lost all the flooring in here. Uh, so we now just have a concrete house. I think there was some other stuff because it said there was five items missing. I don't know what items they are. Uh, so if you know, the yarn is still there, so don't worry. Um, I feel like there's something, that, I feel like there was a thing there. I don't know. There's some other stuff missing. So what I'm gonna do, oh, okay. So that stuff's actually just in my inventory. That's fine. I don't, I don't know why this popped in my inventory. I don't know if this happened before or when I just loaded. There it is. Also got some random produce, which this feels like cottage living right here. <laughs> it's gonna sell all this. I assume it popped off my plants from outside at some point. Oh, we've got the brand new, um, so this is if you get cottage living early, you get uh, one of the, okay, what is with this lighting? Oh, it's like terrible weather. You get this new bike, which is like, so it's like an early purchase. Or oh, if you purchase before September or something, I think. So it's not a pre-order thing, but if you purchase within a certain time, you get this bike, which is, I think, rideable. Yawn! That's not new. I don't, I don't know why that showed up as new, but you know what? I don't care. That's awesome. And we also get this gnome thing that's riding on a chicken for some reason. I feel like there was a third thing, but I don't know what it was. Anyway, so that's kind of cool. Maybe we'll use a bike. I'll, I'll put it over here. Oh, that's right. There was this treat. Wait, this is $30? What? What is with Sims pricing is bizarre. Uh, I guess the trees and none of them are that expensive, but this has like lights and stuff all over it. Like, look how much stuff it's got going on. That would not be $30. Anyway, whatever, you also get that tree. So that's not what I was coming to build mode for. I guess I'll use, uh, these are kind of similar to the floorboards we were using, right? Because we had the CC floorboard, so maybe I'll just use these. Now there's a lot of suggestions to do like laundry down here uh, under the stairs, like stacked laundry. Also, a lot of people for some reason didn't like my supporting wall. Uh, it's to support the structure of the house above and it was very creative, but it shall be tossed. Oh, that's, that's annoying. My column does not line up with where the stairs go down because the house is on a foundation. So the stairs are slightly longer than normal. So <laughs> it doesn't like it. Let's just not do anything there. Oh yeah. And there was a suggestion to use, um, this sliding door for the wardrobe entrance. And I actually, I don't know if I cut it out of the video, but I actually did originally put that in and then I moved, I removed it just cause it's a little too big for the wall. Like because it's a two tile door, it's just a little too big. And uh, it means we'd have to remove this, uh, you know, and it just, it, it kind of didn't work out. But anyway, uh, that's cool. So why don't we, whoops, I didn't mean to remove all of that. I was gonna say, why don't we see if we can fit in? Oh, this would be so cool if this worked. I have like a sliding door and have the laundry just in there. Somehow I don't think that's gonna work. Uh, even as a door like this, I feel like this wouldn't work and then having laundry in there. However, would be very cool. So I'm willing to try. What was that? I put in a washing machine. I just spent a lot of money doing this stuff. <laughs> have, have laundry in my lot. I don't even have, I, I don't think we can even use it until I have all the pieces, right? Then I have to have the other stuff too. I can, wait, if I can, can I upgrade it? Come on. Oh, come on. All right, well, <laughs> we'll play around with that later. Let's go to sleep. Oh, actually, do I even have a job? No, I don't. Let me get, let me get a gig. We should probably actually do some dream home decorating. Um, so my gig button's not working, which is of slight concern. However, let me try my phone. Okay, we're good. <laughs> the phone works. I don't know why that button didn't work, but whatever. So we can do the fabulous living room. Oh, the big wallet. Oh, yes, yes. Actually, this is great because I want to actually do up that... Uh, Realm of Magic House with the with the, um, the witches. It's been it's actually been two weeks since I recorded a video, so it's really tough for me to talk. Apparently, <laughs> okay, let's go to sleep. Yeah, I want to do up that house with Column and Plantain, and for Reginald the baby, which we should probably age up. Uh, also, we should probably do auto lights. Now, I don't know what it is with you guys, but for some reason you really have this thing that you want me to do auto lights everywhere. I just like the lights being on. I like being able to see what's in my house. Like, I don't like that this is dark. In fact, I'm gonna turn on this room right now. And also this room here. Ah, that's better. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's no, oh wait, no, there is food. It just hasn't gone through, we're good. And I will have auto lights in the bedroom. Okay, you can go to sleep. I know you wanna play, but it is 10 PM. Okay, I, this, are you okay? Hagrid is just standing. Staring. Okay, <laughs> there we go. All right. Oh yeah, I should probably upgrade this bed because <laughs> that was the other thing you guys pointed out is like I have this like epic upgraded bed here and then I just bought a new bed that is I guess technically worse. It is better in the catalog I 
think if I remember, but obviously without the upgrades, it's not any better. All right, let's go ahead and have some food. Oh, dust bunnies. Oh, I can't wait for cottage living so we can do all the, uh, the, the simple living thing. Oh, actually, the, I don't know why I chose mac and cheese for breakfast, but whatever. We have now the new update, which allows us to do lot challenges. So this is really cool because you could make like the worst lot known to man. So before all of these things, which are all essentially negative things uh, that don't really produce a tangible benefit that's really that good, other than the challenge for fun. Um, they used to be traits and lot traits. You can only have three, but challenges, oh, <laughs> you can have all of them. You can have, I have 10 challenges. So this would be a house with creepy crawlies that's cursed, filthy gremlins, grody, off the grid, quake zone, reduce and recycle. Oh, we are, once we have cottage living, we are 100%, not, probably not in the main let's play, but I want to do a let's play, probably a, a, a mini series, because I don't know how much we could do this for, but we're going to do every single lot challenge. I don't, why can't we do landfill? Oh, you can't have it on residential. That's a shame. I'd love people to just come and dump the junk at my lot. <laughs> Although actually, I wonder if we could do that if we bought a retail lot, but then some of these might only be residential. I'm not sure. Anyway, so obviously not doing this now, <laughs> but I want to do a let's play with that. Oh, I see. I had a window here. I had those mirrors. I was thinking it looked a little blank here. I was like, because I, I was just trying to remember what the items are. So one was the flooring, two was the mirrors, three was one of the windows. There was two other items that it said are missing. Can you spot the difference? <laughs> All right, so you finish eating that and then I got to do some vacuuming. Oh, actually I might have to vacuum because we don't really have enough room in here, do we? Wasn't that the problem? I don't know, we do now. Sweet, all gone. Wait, that's still there. Wait, what? I literally just vac- what, what is this? Oh my gosh, I can't- okay, step on. Yeah, Hagrid, I'll play with you in a second. The house is just dusty. Um, well, why don't we go for- let's go for- let's go for a morning job. Let's go do that instead. Okay, that's right. I have laundry now that I can't access. I- I forgot about that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna end up with piles of clothes that I can't actually wash. Great. And I'll say it's still dusty, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fantastic. All right, let's go here real quick. I'm just going to bring us back because that's probably an oh, and it's also starting to rain. So that's fantastic. And my gig starts in and out. Are you guys coming back? Where are you? Wait, oh no. Yeah, I was going to say, where's Hagrid? No, you brought him back. That's fine. Okay, we're off again. Okay, did Hagrid just go through the wall? Hagrid? Ha what? How did he get over there? Come home to me. Wait, what? How did he get over here? What is going on? And now I have a pile of wet clothes here. What is this? Let's go to work. Let's get out of here. All right, man. This weather is brutal. Um, can you please take care of your dog? What is wrong with you people? <laughs> okay. Cheerful intro. Oh, hello. How's Reginald going, by the way? Can I actually? Oh yeah. Can I access your door now? Oh, okay. Nope. Oh wait, isn't the front door? Hang on, I'm confused. Oh yeah, this is the front door, isn't it? I should probably change that. Hello. Oh, money tree room. Thank you. Okay, so <laughs> that's there's a few flowers in there. There's a money fruit here as well, which could make us rich. Um, there's this floor up here. Reginald is still a baby, which we probably wait. Can I edge him up here? Oh, I can. You know what? I'm just gonna go age up your child because we did that whole video of like fixing the timeline and all that, where we aged up all the Big Wallet family members. We didn't age up Reginald, and he should be the same age as Candle, which, oh, I guess I don't know Candle, do I? Which, I, he's an adult, though. All right, yeah, so he should be a lot older. But also, he could be magical, so maybe he ages slower. I don't know, but let's just make him not a baby. <laughs> like, I'll just come into the house and age up that kid. Oh, yeah! Look at that hair! Is that one of the new hairs? I think it actually is. Didn't that come in the update today? That's epic. That looks so good. Yeah! Come to Hazel! I'm adopting you! I'm not, I'm not, but it's pretty funny. All right, where, wait, are you one of the clients now? Question. <laughs> why am I holding you? All right, what, hello? Wait, why are you, why are all three of you down here? I guess this is the only room that's furnished. <laughs> so that's where everyone goes, and I guess the nursery. Okay, can we go here, please? Okay, I need to talk to you guys. Why are you carrying, how come when I try to carry toddlers in this game, it, they like never pick them up and they always just put them down. And now she will not put down this child. There's also no option to put down this toddler. I just stop. They never carry toddlers in this game. You always ask them to and then just put them down constantly. But <laughs> hi. Yeah, so your baby's aged up and he's now mine. Is that cool with you? You're also still on something from last time we were here. So I don't know what's going on there. All right, what have we got? So, you, oh, you like an organ. Okay, great. Modern and suburban contempo. And what about you? Oh, am I going to get another from you here? I do wonder what, 
when uh, oh i'm blue okay i do want to when i send clients away are you gonna take your child with me with you or is he gonna stay with me all right see you guys okay you, okay wait no you didn't take your child with you oh no that no, you did okay cool <laughs> All right, I think I use this toilet real bad. Hello? Oh, okay. What is going on today? This, this is there's so much like back and forth. All right, so first of all, I could probably swipe this money fruit, which can I actually? No, I can't, interestingly. Okay, fair enough. Can I swipe this? I can. Can I swipe this? No, I cannot. Can I swipe this? I, oh, no, wait, what? I can return it? Did they steal this from someone else? <laughs> uh, okay, well, what can I see? Can I, can I, I can't steal these plants. I can uproot them all and ruin them so they have no money. That'd be fun. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. They're like blue because we furnished this a lot. Man, this stuff is all junk though. I guess I could buy something for myself to steal. All right, anyway, where are we renovating before I take the photos? Restriction, no new tiles allowed. Oh. So I guess anywhere I can uh, build. Well, I can't um, build walls, fair enough. Which is a shame because these rooms are very big and open. Uh, I guess down here is the living room then. Because none of the, the none of the rest of these rooms really... I, I need to be able to... We need a whole level renovation in this place because that would help. But I guess down here, this is going to be our living room. Okay, so let's take photos of this space. Okie dokie. So I guess we'll go a photo of like the stairwell and entry and entryway there. And then this old, this used to be like the kitchen and stuff through here, I believe. So get a photo of this area. It could be a nice like a little reading nook or something. I don't know. And then maybe over this way toward the weird money tree that we have indoors. And then maybe around this corner because I have to use this space. And then maybe that light is also in an awkward position. One more. We'll get five. We don't normally do five photos for some reason. So I don't know why I always do four, but we'll do fifth. It goes this way. Okie dokie. So, right. Can't make it any brighter, which is a shame. Let's change the flooring. What did I do up here? Because I, I think I'll... Oh, no. Okay, I won't use that. Uh, <laughs> I think I'll just use this flooring. I like this flooring. It keeps the dark flooring vibes, but keeps it in check, you know? Maybe it should be going that way. This is such a big space. What am I supposed to do with this? Also, how do I have four grand for this? I thought it was at $1,900. Did I, let me see. I put this down. Budget 4,000. Did I already sell something? I don't know, but I'm going to sell some of this stuff. So that's fine. Because I don't, <laughs> it's a bathtub here. I'm going to get rid of this money tree. That's only 20 bucks to sell that, man. Oh, this money fruit. That's where the budget's at. We got 12 grand to do this now. Fantastic. So unfortunately I can't add walls, which is re actually really quite annoying. So this whole space is one big room. Right, okay. Uh, so styles, suburban contempo and modern. What do we have? Okay, I can't hold shift to paint, which is slightly annoying. Um, okay, well, you know what? We also need some, oh God, I can't make it lighter. As I say, we need some more windows actually. So what windows are we using on this place? Cause we'll, we'll, we'll try to keep in, in style with it. Maybe we could use these actually. These, so we're using these for this uh, greenhouse, but I think, it, oh no, it's for, it's for taller walls. That's annoying. I really like those. Okay, fine. We'll find some that fit. I mean, maybe these windows we could use. We get together one cause they're still black. I think that works. And then we'll just have one at the end. Now, obviously I don't want to go overboard with windows. So maybe I'll do one there and I might leave that wall. Uh, so we can put something on it. And that's probably okay. Uh, although I guess maybe some windows down over here wouldn't hurt at this end of the building. And I don't know what I was thinking not finishing this build because trying to do it in Dream Home Decorator is rough just because we're so limited with what we can do. We need the whole level renovation. That'd be fantastic. I can't add spandrels, can I? No, but I can do this and gain access to that room now. Okay, so we have access to that. That's good, I guess. I guess the wallpaper is something we should sort out. Maybe that on that wall, because that's actually from Realm of Magic and it's kind of fun. I don't know. Let's do that one. And then probably just none of those. <laughs> so they do like, the thing is they like modern and suburban contempo, which I, I probably should have customized their likes and dislikes. <laughs> Because that does not make a whole lot of sense for this build. But seeing as that's what the client wants, that's what the client's going to get. Uh, so we're going to be, I guess, making it kind of modern in here. All right, so this is a nice clean space, you know, nice clean space to work with. Get another light. Oh, I'm using the big lights in here. I guess this is an older build. So let's go ahead and remove these because first of all, they're all more expensive and also all the bigger lights that we don't need at all. So we'll use these ones. They're cheaper and smaller. Cool. So that's that. Now let's go. So this is a fabulous living room. So let's try and make it fabulous. Do we have modern and suburban contempo TV? No. Okay, let's forget that then. How much? Uh, I got 10 grand. Uh, let's maybe not spend all my money on a TV here. Do I even want that to be a TV wall? Maybe not. Man, this room is so big. <laughs> this room is so... What is this room? Uh, we got a TV over there. 
Okay, we could use either of these fireplaces. This one, no. I guess this one, I was gonna put it on this wall here. They do have a blue one, which they do like blue, but I don't know if I could do that to myself. So let's do that one. I'm gonna use these cobblestones from outside, maybe just to put that there for the fireplace. Absolutely not, that looks terrible. Let's undo that. <laughs> Let's just forget about that. Ah, yes, the classic. Let's get one of these puppies in. <laughs> this place is going to be so empty. I'm not going to be able to fill this whole room. I don't know if this piece really works in this room anyway. I'm just using the pieces that are in this uh, filter. Oh, yeah, I love these. Maybe we could do like a little... You know what? We could probably turn this wall into one of these. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Move this out of there. Move this... I don't know, somewhere else. <laughs> Put that there. Okay. So we got a wall over here with this thing. There you go. All right, what couch options do we have? Not a whole lot. I got this thing, this, or oh, this. Okay. What colors does this have? This place is um not gonna be great. So this is like the TV nook area. Like you come here if you want to watch TV. You know, this is the area with a beautiful blue couch. We'll use some of the patented vertical beams for some visual separation. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the trick is we just keep adding furniture until it looks good. Maybe that's what we need to do. Like just keep, just keep adding stuff. Oh, I should probably, before I forget, get the pipe organ. Uh, so this can go, oh, you know what? Can that fit in here? <gasps> we can actually have an organ. I'll move some of the, the windows. We'll get rid of some of these. This is actually incredible. We have an organ. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's actually <laughs> some of my finest work. <laughs> I mean, what else is this room gonna be anyway? There you go. There's some bricks on this little bit too. There you go, look at that. Oh, pipe organ room, fantastic. Ooh, maybe we can use this as a room divider. A little open, maybe we could use, I, I do want to use this, but I'm trying to think where would be actually a good spot for it. Maybe like here somewhere? This is so stupid. <laughs> Uh, okay, maybe not. I mean, we should do too many of them. We should just have one on that wall. I feel like it's kind of, it, it's kind of coming together. I actually think it is, it's sort of working. Like I've put the bookcase here, like this one. So it's a solid one. So it kind of looks like a wall. Oh yeah. Also don't, don't worry about that hole in the, the floor there. Cause that, uh, Look, as soon as I get a, le a level renovation, we'll, we'll fix that, but I can't do that right now. So let's just pretend that there's a ceiling there. <gasps> Wait a second. Oh, no, never mind. False alarm. I thought that was Katrina. Look, I saw the red hair. I'm sorry. Anyway, yeah, it's kind of coming together. I actually, I don't hate this. Now, I am really limiting myself by only using these two styles, but I think these items are slowly pulling the whole thing together. You know, like I'm just sort of putting things around the place. And unfortunately, I don't know what it is. Well, I do know what it is. The base game items are just so like not that detailed. They're so like undetailed. Not that I necessarily want something like super complex like this, but like if you look at the base game, like look at this fireplace, for example, like, I mean, look at this and these blank couches, even next to the stream home decorator thing, like the texture you see on this coffee table is so much more detailed than what you see on these, you know? Like having said that, there are these new couch textures. Well, I say new, I don't know. They added these in a while ago, but these look so much better. I wish they had retextured all of these to look like that because it looks way better as a nice like fabric sort of couch. But I'm trying to go with the blue, which I believe that one counts as blue. Or maybe that one's better, actually. I might use this one. Also does look nicer. I'm going to change these ones, too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that color looks way nicer. Hopefully that's counted as blue. Yeah, I'm actually going to keep the lighter coffee table over here. I'm using the dark one over that side. I'm going to use the light one here. This wall needs something. Either, you know, something on the wall. Oh, you know what? Maybe a mirror. Mirrors are good. That's If there's something we need in this room to make it look a little bit bigger, <laughs> a mirror will do that job. Well, that's a lot smaller than I thought. They really need to add some bigger mirrors into this game because these look quite small. I might actually remove that because I'm about to put a curtain over this and the curtain might actually do the trick here. Wow, these curtains are also rough. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, I guess maybe this? Do a dark curtain to match the window frame. What do we, do we try to lighten it up a little bit? Seems like there's a lot of patterns going on in this curtain now, you know? Let's just go with that. Let's go with that. So I'm not doing a rug here because it's right by the fireplace. Also, we already have a rug over there. So I want to kind of vary it a little bit. Um, I would like more plants. Plants are always the way to go. I've got nothing really over here. So maybe this can go over this side. I need like a little side table or something as well, maybe. I mean, they, none of these are particularly great for that. Mm, no, none of these are ideal. So this is huge. Like there's a lot of space. Like I guess like a dining table, but I don't really have a kitchen. Like I've just kind of made this whole thing a living room. Like maybe I should have, maybe we, maybe this should stay the kitchen then. Maybe, maybe that's what I'll do. Cause then I could do dining here. 
which makes sense. Although now it kind of seems weird that we have an organ in there. Like the organ would make sense in here, but we can't actually get to that yet. So maybe another time we move it. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to get rid of this thing because there's not really anywhere to put it, unfortunately. Because uh, I'm going to turn this into the kitchen now. Now I know the kitchen is not on the docket, but this is like sort of planning. Should we do like the white cupboards and then the, the sort of dark brown handle so it sort of goes? Yeah, let's do that. Now, obviously I can't really afford much here. I'm also gonna get rid of these filters. Uh, so, and also, cause again, we're not, we're not even doing this renovation technically. So I'm not gonna really do much with it. I'm gonna hope that we could get another renovation with this place and we can come back and like fix up the kitchen. That'd be fantastic. I'm just putting in like the <laughs> cheapest appliances. But hey, at least I have a kitchen. Maybe the brick should continue there then for that little section. It's kind of, it is very strange. Um, make no mistake. It is very strange that the kitchen's just along this wall and then I've got this section here, you know. But it's just a working area so that we can add in a dining area that actually kind of makes sense. Now, I believe this table was actually included in the filtering for modern and uh, in tempo. Let's just double check. Was not. I thought it was. Well, I don't care. I love this table. This Hey Harry table is so good. So, so good. So I think it's going to go around here somewhere. Although, hang on. I don't want it right there because that's where you sort of walk. I mean, maybe it has to sort of slide this way a bit more where it was. Do I line it up with this stuff? I don't know. Let, let's start with lining it up and then we can sort of shift it around. Yeah, something like that. Move this plan over that corner for now. Ooh, I've got 228. <laughs> Not a lot for, for dining chairs. Oh boy. All right. How much is the actual matching chair for this? 135. That's a problem. Okay, we're going to have to go cheaper than that. 80 with the trend sitter. That I'm not going to be able to afford. Oh no. We're going to have to come back. Hopefully, again, like I said, hopefully we'll get like a... Oh, actually, this somehow matches. Still $40 a chair. <laughs> I would want to change this. <laughs> so I wouldn't leave it like this. Maybe this way is better. I don't know. But it's something along these lines. You know, the idea is there. The vision is there. Let's get rid of a couple of the chairs. Slide these in for now. I could just use a smaller table. Maybe that's what I should do because it probably just end up looking better than... Having this table where it doesn't look good at all. So let's get this one. We'll get the smaller table out. Can I afford a better chair or not? $80. Twice as expensive. I actually don't know that that chair's better because of the light uh, trim on it. It's kind of a little bit of an awkward placement right now. I would like to put some stuff over here or maybe this should go over here. I don't know. I mean, look, ideally probably walls would be nice <laughs> to really tie everything together. But you know, we're working with what we got here, okay? Now, is there a little bit of filtering again and see, is there, actually how much is that fruit bowl? 95, dang, I got 47 simoleons left here for decoration. 45, yeah, sweet. Okay, this thing is odd, uh, just cause the color doesn't really match. I guess maybe that's a better match. Not ideal, but it goes with the room a bit better, I think. Okay, so we got, I mean, I guess I could get a cheaper TV and I have a bit more money, but I think this is a good start, you know? They actually have furniture. It's actually in their style. And I think it actually kind of goes. I mean, it doesn't really, but you know, it's in the darker color, color tones, except for that, like, you know, the white walls, but it's not like too out there, but it, look, it's what they wanted. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think that'll do. Let's get those after photos up and running. Now is the trick to get all the same angles. I think it was about here, which I'm gonna adjust it so I can actually see the couch in the shot because it's probably a bit better. It, uh, I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't look great from this angle. All it all it looks like is you actually have furniture now. <laughs> so I, I guess that's that. Oh no, the next angle was over here, uh, which also does not look great. Although if I angle it slightly more and then zoom, we can see the pipe organ and also we can see the dining room. So I'll, again, I'll adjust the angle a little bit. So now it's back here. Yeah, we get a bit more in the shot. It looks a little bit more exciting, you know? Okay, then I had the one that's facing this way, which again, I'm just gonna, you know, get a shot that actually makes a bit more sense in context. I mean, this actually doesn't look too bad. I mean, I would like to put more items in, you know, decorate it a bit more, but it's actually not the worst thing I've seen. <laughs> and then I had one like this, which is also kind of a useless angle. I mean, I guess I can do this, I suppose. <laughs> oh, I don't even have, I didn't take a photo of like what would be the TV area in here. Instead that it's actually just a, photo back at this angle, which I guess is fine. We'll do that. All right. So those are my five photos. Uh, what is this? There's a little, there's a little like ding ding in the middle of my screen, but I don't know what it was for. So, oh, uh, maybe level five photography. I think I just completed the photography skill. Yeah, I did. Okay. I maxed out photography. Cool. It's going to hit save because I don't want the reveal to glitch out. It means we can reload and redo the reveal if it works. All righty. Call clients a lot. Come on down, everybody. Welcome back to your brand. I mean, it's, Definitely miles ahead of what it was. Is it exactly what I would like to do? No, but if we had more budget, 
uh, we could probably rein it in. We're just going to hope that they'll keep hiring me uh, so we can keep doing this and keep a aging up their child every time I come here. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, where is Reginald? Guys? Uh, guys? Where's your toddler? Uh oh, that slip. Did you? Oh no, don't tell me that we've just deleted Reginald. Oh no, 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 he's back. He's inside. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> he just appeared inside again. All right, everybody, this way. Let's go. I mean, considering you went from zero furniture to actually having a livable house. I mean, the, granted, there's no sink or bin in the kitchen, but it wasn't a kitchen renovation. I just felt bad for you guys. Uh, you do have a sink and a toilet and stuff downstairs, so that's fine. And you can nap on the couches, and uh, Reginald has. Actually, he does not have a bed. Mm, okay, that's a problem. Anyway, is this gonna work, or if we have we now just glitched out here? Because I, I mean, oh, oh, oh I think may, maybe, maybe may, she seems pretty happy about it. Um, oh, I, I don't. I think we've skipped forward here because it's not failed. Wait, what's happened? Reveal renovated. Hmm. Uh, I haven't technically revealed the space, which is interesting. But everybody's in here and looking at it. Huh. <laughs> uh, you know what? I might actually try reloading this. Look, I would have done my fake, uh, well, my edited renovations reveal, but it hasn't even ticked off that. All right, let's uh, try this again. Oh, wait. Nope, this seems worse. Uh, uh, hmm. Oh, you guys uh, said that I could... Wait, let me get rid of Halloween. Go away. You guys said that I could save and reload and it would work. And it appears that it hasn't worked and it's actually much worse. Wait, hang wait, wait, wait. No, they disappeared. Maybe it does work. Hang on. Because now I can call them back. Okay, wait, wait. No. Sorry, I threw you guys under the bus a little too soon. <laughs> All right, let's try again. Yes, host the reveal event. All righty, guys. Let's try that again. Oh, and the toddler's actually down here now. Maybe that's a good sign. Okay, we're all sort of walking over here. All right, guys, you ready to check this out? This way, everybody. Don't worry, just leave your toddler out in the rain. Um, I don't even know if he can climb upstairs. That could be a problem. All right, we're all just standing here. Okay, we've all gone inside and I think it just potentially glitched out again. Uh, I'm wondering if it's because we have a toddler involved that I aged up in the process of all this. Let's, okay, well, clearly it didn't work. So apparently I got a sentiment from Colm. Okay, well, all right, you guys look at your stuff. Um, here, look, I'll show you this. Check this out. Look, you got your pipe organ. And this is blue, so check this out. And also this is a TV, so... Check this out because you wanted a living room, so maybe, maybe you'll like that. Also, you, you know Reginald's... Wait, where is Reginald? He's, he's yeah, outside in the range, over there. Hmm. So I can't... <sighs> the reveal thing does is not working. I'm wondering if we'll still get the... Uh... Okay, so Reginald did make it inside, that's good. Yeah, I wonder if we'll get the final verdict popping up. Okay, yeah, we are, okay. We just didn't get the reveal. All right, what do you reckon? What do you reckon, Colm? Mm, she seems pretty happy about it. Oh, wait, no, that was something unrelated. Oh, no, no, yeah, she is happy about it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Hazel. All right, and you, Plantain, what do you think? What do you think? Oh, this is beautiful. It's fantastic. Great. Now, is this going to complete or... Oh, no, okay, it did. I was wondering if it was going to complete because we didn't have the reveal. 2,280 simoleons. That's fantastic. Let's go home. And don't worry, we're going to react now to the renovations. Oh, it's so empty. And whoa, yeah, that's better. Oh, it's empty again. And that's really so. Whoa! This is looking pretty good. Oh, no. Oh. Wow! Yeah! Man. Oh, no, that's no good. Whoa! Yeah, this, I mean, it's okay. Look, it's okay. Wow, that was a good renovation. All right, let's go, let's go back into the game. All right, so that's that. She's sad about, because I canceled ha Halloween, I deleted it. Let's um, set that bike as preferred. Oh, right, yeah, no, I did it, but I didn't put it in my inventory. Now let's put it in my inventory. Alrighty, cool. So let's go back inside. And with that, that's the end of, not, not the end, the end of this part, not of this series. That is the end of this part of Dream Home Decorator. Tomorrow, Cottage Living is out. So the next video is gonna be Cottage Living Let's Play again with Chaz and we will be merging him back into this same save game. So those of you that were concerned that Chaz, you know, is not in the main big wallet save, he will be back in this. It does work. The only downside is we will lose uh, some items in his inventory, though I can just buy them from debug. So I'll try set it up as close as possible and we'll go through that in that series when we return to it tomorrow. So you know what's changed and what is working, what isn't working. But what I'm gonna ask from you guys now is, how should we bring Hazel and Chaz together? Should we just have 
Hazel come along and do renovations for Chaz or should we purposely try and meet up, you know, out at a bar or something? Or, you know, I don't know, let me know in the comments down below. Obviously it makes sense for Hazel to do a renovation of Chaz's place. If that happens to come up in one of our gigs, that would be fantastic. I don't know if there's a way that we can kind of force that to happen, but if he pops up as a gig, that would just be amazing. I would love for that to just happen because that, that would work. That would work really well. But until then, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.